Access your free language gifts right now before they expire. First, the Talking About the Week PDF Conversation Cheat Sheet. Learn how to talk about your plans for the week and how to say the days of the week in the target language. Download this cheat sheet for free. Second, 50 questions that learners need to know. Do you know all the most common questions that beginners need to know? If not, this lesson is for you. Third, 15 words and phrases you may not know. Chances are you don't know some of the words and phrases inside this lesson, and that's a good thing because you start learning the moment you come across something you don't know. So access this free lesson. Fourth, the Daily Conversations Infographic eBook. You'll learn over 100 conversational phrases with this new PDF eBook. Download it now for free. Fifth, How to Say Hello PDF Writing Workbook. With this printable PDF, you'll pick up some common greetings and be able to practice writing them out. And sixth, want an app that teaches you the language through conversations? Download innovative language learning for free for the Android, iPhone, and iPad. You'll unlock bite-sized lessons that teach you practical conversations and get you speaking in minutes. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the description below. Download them right now before they expire. Hey everyone, welcome to the Monthly Review, the monthly show on language learning where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is input versus output and how to learn language faster. Are you getting results from your language learning? You may be spending time on apps, watching YouTube videos, maybe even reading through a textbook, getting all this input. But what about output? Do you know what you're getting out of it? Most learners don't. Stick around, today you'll discover, one, the other meaning of input versus output, two, how tracking your input and output helps you learn a language faster, and three, how to apply this tactic. But first, if you're looking for new, free language resources and downloads, here are this month's new lessons and resources. Be sure to download these now before we take them down in a few days. First, the Talking About the Week PDF Conversation Cheat Sheet. Learn how to talk about your plans for the week and how to say the days of the week in the target language. Download this cheat sheet for free. Second, the Daily Conversations Infographic eBook. You'll learn over 100 conversational phrases with this new PDF ebook. And third, how to say hello PDF writing workbook. With this printable PDF, you'll pick up some common greetings and be able to practice writing them out. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. Now to today's topic. Input versus output and how to learn language faster. Part one, input versus output. So there are two ways to define input and output. First, from the language learning perspective, input is listening and reading, and output is speaking and writing. The second way to look at it is the effort you put in and the results you get. So input is the time and effort you put into learning the language, like listening to audio lessons for five hours a week, and five hours is your input, or practicing speaking phrases out loud for 10 minutes a day. And output is the return on the time you invested into the language. In other words, the results. The results could be something like mastering 30 phrases or being able to hold a three minute conversation as a result of your input. And that's the input and output we want to focus on today. The time put in and the results you get from the time put in. Part two, how tracking your input and output helps you learn a language faster. If you take a look around, most learners do a ton of info with studying, right? They read textbooks, they watch videos on YouTube, they spend hours on apps, but they have no measurable results or return on their time invested. If someone told you that they've read 200 pages of a textbook, which is a lot of input, can they place a specific number on their results? Can they say, I learned 1,000 words, or I can handle 20 minutes of conversation as a result of reading 200 pages? Probably not. 
So most learners don't know because most learners don't measure their input or their output. However, if you knew that listening to one hour of audio lessons a week resulted in being able to hold a three minute conversation, now you know what results you're getting from your work. And this is where tracking your input and output becomes a powerful way to learn a language faster. Because you can measure your input and output, you can also now improve your results. If one hour of input helps you have a three minute conversation, you now know how to reach six minutes, nine minutes, and so on. You know how to improve, just add an hour more. Look at it in another way. You can also try to get more output while maintaining your input, one hour. So trying to get seven or eight minutes of conversation from one hour of study time. Now, the numbers may not always be the same because of the law of diminishing returns. But what's important to understand is that if you're putting in effort, you should always aim to get some sort of result in return. Otherwise, you're not making progress. That's why this tactic is so powerful. It almost forces you to improve and get something out of your efforts by looking for ways to beat your current numbers. But if you never knew the numbers, then you wouldn't know what your baseline was and you wouldn't know how to improve. Now, how do you apply this to your language learning? Part three how to apply this tactic. It's not hard. Just measure your input or the time you study. We already ask you to set small, measurable monthly goals and outline your daily routines. This should give you an idea of how much time you put in already. Plus, our learning system tracks the time you study. Just visit my report under the account drop-down menu. There, you'll see the number of lessons completed, flashcards reviewed, and time studied. Next, measure your results or your output. You have to start doing output, whether it's a journal, texting your teacher, writing comments on our lessons, having conversations, you have to have that output and measure it. So if your goal is to learn 1000 words in one month, but you only learned 800, then you know that with your current input, 800 is a realistic number. One month results in 800 words